This video is about unfinished business. Over a year ago, I hiked into a remote canyon. As the sun was starting to set, I came upon these ancient ruins high above the canyon floor. They were haunting. They appeared to be in pristine condition. They also looked impossible to reach. Running out of daylight, I marked them on my GPS and hiked out. When I got home, I began to study maps to see if I could find any clues on how to get there. Eventually, I believed I found a way. So recently, I went back. The first part of the hike would be in on a trail, and then I would cut across country to try and find a way down. All right, cutting across country now. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, which feels kind of stupid, but I think it's just, I know I really wanna see these things. And remembering my, like remembering what I saw last year, it looked like it could be kind of sketchy getting to them. And so I know that if it's too sketchy, I'll have to back off. And I hate doing that. There's a bunch of really mature cryptobiotic soil out here. You can Google this stuff if you're interested. I'm not gonna go into explaining why it's so important, but it's really important to the environment out here. And so if you're ever hiking out here, you don't want to step on this stuff and crush it and ruin it. So I'm about halfway across the trailless area, traveling in basically like a northwest direction. So I'm walking with the sun kind of right behind my left shoulder to try to keep me honest and head in a northwesterly direction. It's really easy to get turned around out here. It's a rugged area. Beautiful though. When I was looking at this place from the bottom last year, I dropped a pin in an area that looked like if there was going to be a way down, that's where it would be. And so I'm almost to that pin. I'm going to start going kind of behind me, you might be able to see the cliffs and I'll kind of start trying to find a way down. I'm starting to think that I need to get around this sort of buttress here and I might be able to find a way down. It's definitely a kind of a puzzle and a maze up here. Check it out, there's a piece of them right there up under the overhang. The problem is I'm not entirely sure how to get there. So it's down one more tier and <laughs> that looks to be the crux. So, you guys can see it right there. Really cool. I haven't gone up over this edge yet, but I'm not feeling super hopeful that it's gonna lead down to it. All right, well here it is. I'm still debating whether or not I can make it down there. Okay, so the Adventure continues. I was just over on that edge looking sort of underneath this ledge. You can just see a part of the rune there in the middle. And I realized, I was just like, man, I don't know, that's, that's a little risky. So let me come look at another area and I think I found a spot. It's probably, I think I can get down right there. So this is probably an episode I don't want my parents watching. Um, although I'm not making stupid decisions, it might, <laughs> might seem like that through the YouTube, but I do climb. I have a pretty good understanding of what I'm capable of. The rock here looks, uh, it looks much better quality. Uh, the rock over there was just so crumbly and uh, just not very confidence inspiring, but this looks uh, much more solid here. There's the canyon floor, maybe uh, 50, 
feet or so, 60 feet below us. Whew. <laughs> All right, we're down. I'm stoked. I came down that little wall right there. It actually wasn't so bad. Let's go see what we got. I'm just standing here taking it in. There's some of the structure down there and that, that's not in as good of shape, but the bulk of it is in really nice condition, probably because it gets a lot of shade up here and because it's so hard to get to, not many people have been here. All right, let's investigate it a little bit. We'll start on the left side here. So we're kind of the furthest left building. A really great example of what's considered a T-shaped door. Although I gotta be honest, I know people were smaller back then, but that's like more of a window to me. How were people getting in and out of that? Here's the inside. A lot of blackened roof from uh, fires being in here. So this was definitely lived in. All right, let's work our way to the right to this next building over here. Here's a look inside this second house here. At least I think it was a house just given the size of it. But there's no, I noticed there's no um, blackness on the ceiling, which seems odd. You would think they would have had fires in here. Take a look at the architecture up here. So first off, you've got a bunch of fingerprint uh, kind of marks where you can see fingers would have daubed the mud up in there. <laughs> look at that. And then you can see right here's a stick coming out. They often used wood to reinforce these structures. So again, who knows how old that, I mean, this thing could be a thousand years old. Then the thing that maybe is the most cool or unique is look at how much plaster is still on these walls. We often think of these ancient cliff dwellings as having a bunch of like exposed rock and that's just kind of how they were built. But in actuality, the whole thing would have been plastered like this, uh, even inside and out, uh, not just the outside. But that breaks down quickest and you can see this stuff's cracking and and eventually will just fall down of its own, you know, just gravity taking its toll. Uh, but this whole rune is still in really nice shape. I almost skipped over this section because it's kind of broken down. It sits on the outskirts of the ruin. But look at that fiber in there. You can just see as this plaster is broken down, you can see what they actually put in it when they made it. And those fibers, that's juniper bark. It's from the Utah juniper species here. And it's just wild to think how old that bark is. I wanted to try to give you guys an understanding of where kind of where this is and just what the setting is. So I came down from that wall over there and then walked along this ledge. You know, here are the main buildings and then this other one with that awesome doorway. But you know, this is just, I mean, it's just a ledge. I don't know, maybe 20 feet by 40 feet and it drops off down below here. So I sat down to eat a snack and, you know, just kind of think about this place, these areas. They always just lead me to, to ponder a lot. You know, it's, there's a saying that I think is probably true a lot that you never miss what you never knew. But I can't help but feel bad in some ways for these people. I mean, maybe they had awesome lives, you know, maybe they loved it, but it just seems like there were some, some serious external pressures that they were trying to, you know, escape from and, and basically survive in that would drive them to this little ledge 
up in the middle of nowhere uh, in this tiny little box canyon. It, it just boggles my mind. That was a really fun discovery. I'm glad you guys joined me on it. If you liked it, hit subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment, and stay tuned for future adventures.